event, the battle for the WBC middleweight championship featuring Thomas Hitman Hearns and Iran the Blade Barkley. Is it safe to say, Gil, that the early rounds will be most crucial as we see Barkley make his way in? Well, I think that Manny Stewart is playing a trick on on Iran Barkley. He said that Hearns is going to knock him out in two rounds. Watching him in the gym, he had Tommy Hearns boxing and moving. I don't think the early rounds are going to be crucial. Iran Barkley wants to bring the title back to New York. 28-year-old Barkley of the Bronx coming off the impressive fifth-round KO of Michael Elijah Day. Tonight, Barkley's second title shot. In October of 87, he lost a 15-round decision to Sumbu Kalambe for the WBA middleweight title. And you got to wonder what might be going through his mind right now as he gets ready to fight a legend when Barkley was an amateur. He had pictures of Hearns, Hagler, and Leonard pinned to the walls of his room. Now he's actually going to fight one of those men. Here comes the hitman, Thomas Hearns, who has done what no other fighter has done. Hearns made boxing history when he KO'd Juan Rodin last October to become the first man to win world titles in four separate weight divisions. Tonight, the 29-year-old hitman looks to defend the WBC middleweight crown for the first time. And to the strains of Rocky, here comes Hearns. The crowd getting revved up. Thomas Hearns wants to win tonight and then unify the middleweight title. He has never unified the title. Of course, he would like another shot at Leonard and Hagler, the only two men to beat him, but that seems almost remote. But the ghosts of Sugar Ray and Marvelous Marvin continue to linger. But first things first, Iran Barkley to the keys to winning Al Bernstein. And what about how Tommy Hearns can win this fight? Not too much of a mystery. He is the most dangerous fighter in boxing, possibly except for Mike Tyson, in the first three rounds of a fight. So he wants to start fast. Needs to back Barkley up. Iran does not fight well going back. We saw him against Jorge Amparo and others. Can't do it. Barkley got to get inside that long jab of Tommy Hearns. Once he's there, I think the absolute essential item for him is to use the double left hook to the body and the head. All right, we go to the tail of the tape. Thomas Hearns and Iran Barkley. Hearns a year older. Exactly the same weight, the same height. Hearns with a four-inch reach advantage. And the WBC rules, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count, can only be saved by the bell in the last round. Only the ref can stop it. Three judges score, 10-point must system. Michael Buffer standing by for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council. The judges for this contest are the Curry Law from Nevada, Oscar Lentoon from Mexico, and the referee was Scott Perry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Las Vegas Eastern Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Top Rank Incorporated, and the King of Beers, Budweiser, presents the featured bout of the evening. So let's get ready to rumble 12 rounds for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing a black trunk with red trim and weighed in at an even 160 pounds. He's from the Big Apple, New York City, New York. As a professional, 24 victories, 4 defeats, 15 KOs, ranked number two in the world by the WBC, introducing the challenger, Iran, the Blade Barkley. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the crunk gold trunks, also weighing an even 160 pounds. As a professional, 45 victories, only two defeats, 38 KOs, the only man in boxing history to hold four titles in four divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, the former world welterweight champion, the former world super welterweight champion, the former world light heavyweight champion, and now the WBC middleweight champion of the world.
say again, good luck. Well, if that uproar won't shake you up, nothing will. Thomas Hitman Hearn, 45 and 2, 38 knockouts, and Iran Barkley, the challenger, 24 and 4, 15 KO. The traditional front gold colors. Emmanuel Stewart heading things up. He has flatly predicted that Hearns would knock out Barkley within the two rounds. Well, again, watching him train Tommy in the gym, he had Tommy with a lot of lateral movement and a lot of good stiff left jabs. All right, here we go. Round one scheduled for 12. The hitman with that rare commodity, one punch knockout power. Well, he can sure throw that right hand right down the pipe if the opportunity presents itself. No question about that. 25 of his 38 KOs within the first three rounds of his illustrious career. Barkley is not a very hard guy to hit, but he does take a good punch, and he's a real tough guy. An extremely physical, sprawling type fighter. Almost a throwback to the crowd-pleasing middleweights of the past. Punches and accepts punches at a furious pace. A big left by Hearns. Trying to finish him off early. Now, yeah, Iran Barkley was able to get one left hand in there. Boy, that's his plan. Can he weather, can he get through this kind of power to do it, though? But he has to look at the guy he's fighting. Yeah. Looking at the floor and throwing punches. That's not too healthy. <laughs> no. Hearns with that devastating right and awesome punching power. Best weapon for Barkley, the left hook. You know, with Tommy Hearns, if I if I worked with uh, Iran Barkley, I would tell my fighter, if you slip a punch, punch. If you block a punch, punch. Or if he hits you with a punch, try to punch. Because Tommy has one bad fall. He throws beautiful punches, fast hands, power. But a lot of times after he throws a combination and hits you with a punch, he drops his hands and poses. And you can nail him. And the question is, can Barkley slip the famous right hand of Thomas Hearns and then nail him with his left? The right was blocked. The right by Hearns is blocked. And you saw, you saw Barkley punch back. I have to tell you, I don't think Tommy Hearns looks as sharp early as we've seen him in recent fights. He's throwing his punches with not the same leverage. He may knock Barkley out, but right now, he's not throwing his punches with the leverage he has in earlier in early in other fights recently. Well, that's right, because he nailed Barkley, and Barkley, he didn't knock Barkley off balance, and Barkley was able to wing right back. Barkley, a real banger, doesn't want a boxer be cute. All right, and I think Barkley has already cut over the left eye, and that's one of the one of the handicaps that Barkley has, uh, is the fact that Hearns can bust him up, and his eyes have a tendency to swell. So the longer this fight goes, the worse it can be for Iran Barkley, not the better. That is very interesting, because a lot of people thought the other way around, but now with those cuts, things in Hearns' corner. Unless, of course, Tommy Hearns' legs do go if this goes to the fifth or sixth round, if they can stop the bleeding of that cut. But that may be a big if. Final seconds, round one. Right. Iran Barkley, who has the ability to wear his opponents down, we shall see if this fight does go on. We go to the Barkley corner. They put the stool in, and they were nervous, and Barkley almost missed the stool. Luckily, they have Eddie Aliano, who is one of the best cut men in boxing, working on that cut.